Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining me on this build challenge. Today I'm going to be tackling the spinning a wheel to decide my Sims 4 build. I'm going to be doing Vixella's version of it. I saw it on um, my YouTube channel with some of my Sim friends were doing it. So thank you Fluent and Cat, for making the challenge look so fun. Now the rules for this challenge are, first, I have to spin the wheel to select the number of Sims that will be living in this house. Then I have to spin the wheel to select the amount of money I have to use for the build and for decorating it. And then I have to choose a random room that I have to add. This can be a gym, an art studio, movie theater, and so on. Once I've got all this selected, I will spin for the color of the outside of the house. Then the challenge will continue with me having to spin the wheel for each room I do. I have to choose the color of the walls, the color of the floors, and then I have to decide or choose what type of decorating I'm going to do for this room. Is it going to be my funky fresh or calm and cool? Funky fresh meaning loud, abnormal things that I would normally not use on a build. Or calm and cool which are nice neutrals and nice items that aren't too standoutish. So let's get into this challenge. So here I am at the wheel already. I just have to spin it to see the amount of sims that are going to be living in this house. So we're going to spin that wheel. Come on, show me how many peeps I have. Five sims, okay. So this could be easy. It could be a mom and dad with three kids. You know, maybe two kids. Could be a set of twins and then a toddler or something. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay guys, now I have to spin the wheel on the amount of money I'm going to be given to build and decorate this house. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, give me the loot, give me the loot. $35,000. It's better than 25, I guess. All right, this is what I have. Okay, guys, so now we have to choose the random room that's going to be the extra room in the house that I have to include in this build. All right. I kind of like all of these, so let's just spin to see what we'll get. Oh, yes, that's good. Game room, that's good. This is going to be easy. So this is um like a video arcade game room. I could deal with this. Okay, guys, now we have to spin the wheel to choose the color of the outside of the house. Let's spin this wheel. Black? <laughs> I never painted a house black. Maybe black shutters, a black front door, but never all black. Okay. This is going to be good. Okay, guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to build this house using the 35000 hopefully not all of it. And I will be back when I am ready to paint the house and get into the rooms inside. Okay guys, so here we are with our family of five. I already entered the cheat code for the $35,000. Now I'm going to start my build, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here we are with my build. This took me forever in a day, to be honest with you. So what we have here is the hallway, we have the game room, we have the parents' room, this is going to be the toddler's room, the bathroom, the twins' room, and then we're going to have the kitchen, dining room, and living room area. I think I want to make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's better because the toddler doesn't need a big room like that. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to start off with the living room, dining room, and kitchen area. So we're going to go to the wheel to choose our color floors and walls and the type of decorations. Okay, guys, so we're here at the color wheel. And we are going to be spinning for the color walls for those three rooms. Here we go. Red walls for the kitchen, living room, and dining room. Now let's spin for the flooring. Yellow floors. So now we're going to be spinning to see how we're decorating this. It could be hypnotic, funky, fresh, or calm and cool. So let's spin this wheel. Calm and cool it is. Thank goodness. 
let's get back into the house okay guys so we have red walls that we have to choose from and we have yellow yellow flooring I'm going to go with this let's just see what floors we have and let's choose yellow flooring for the color and this is all we have oh my goodness we're in big trouble because I thought that we would have had like yellow kind of wood or something yikes we'll go with that okay and now we have to do calm and cool decorations so let's start with our kitchen area. I think I'm going to have the kitchen over here. So let's go to kitchen. Let's get some counters. So I'm going to go with these countertops. Let's get our fridge here. Let's give add more counters. And we'll go for this counter table combo. Put that here. Let's see what chairs we have. We'll put these benches here. And we can't forget our stove. So let's put a stove in here. All right, so it looks pretty good. We got the necessities, and we have our dining table there. So let's put the living room over here. So let's grab us a couch. See what they have. Let's put this here, and we could put a TV on the wall. Put that up here. And maybe a table underneath the TV. This one looks like it will go good. Put that there. Now we need a plant. And we gotta watch our money because this is just the first of the decorating. I don't wanna go too crazy and then not have anything left over for the other rooms. So let's choose a nice house plant. Put this right here. And we'll put this one right here. Now we need a rug, so let's get a rug. And let's throw this rug down here. This one looks like it will go. Perfect. This is looking pretty good. I thought I was going to have a hard time with this, but these colors look kind of nice. My rug will stay where it's supposed to be. All right. So let's see, what can we add in the kitchen? It looks really drab. I'll place this picture right here just to spice it up a little. All right, so should I add a little carpet in here? Let's see. I'll place this one down from Stranger Hill. All right guys, so this is the kitchen so far. Kitchen, living room, and the dining area. So let's move on to, I want to do the game room last because I don't know how much money I'm going to have left over. So let's do the master bedroom here and let's agree to have the hallways be the same color. So let's do the master bedroom. Let's get to the wheel. Okay, so let's spin the wheel for the color walls of the master bedroom. Okay, white, that's simple. And let's get the floors. Let's see what we get. Come on, something good, something good. Pink floors. All right, so let's choose our decorating. Is it gonna be calm and cool or is it gonna be hypnotic, funky, fresh? Let's see. Calm and cool. So white walls, pink floors, and calm and cool deco. Let's head back in the house. 
but this is our white options. Let's see what we're going to go with. Um, okay, so this is how the walls turned out. Now let's choose some flooring. It has to be pink. I love the white flooring option. Wish it were vice versa. So let's choose pink. Ooh. Not too many good options. That kind of looks the best here. And I will swap the wall paper out for everything to be this color. Those polka dots and dots are not going to go with this. Alright, so let's get to decorating. And it's calm and cool. We got... Now we get some side tables. $45. Works for me. Let's get some lamps. Let's see what we have here. Let's just put this one here. And let's do something different on that side. We'll put this here. Perfect. Now we need a dresser. Now let's get us a mirror. Put the mirror here. Now let's get some curtains. Okay, we'll put these curtains here. And let's just grab them for this side as well. Alright, and now let's put some items on the desk. Let's see what we could get for her. Or them, the couple. Poor guy has to deal with all this pink. Put that there. Let's give them some body essentials and some men. I'm going to slap these books right in the middle. Let's change the color. Looks good. I'm going to add a plant in that corner there. And then we could add some, like maybe a picture. Just like this plant right here. Now let's find a picture. Shrink it down a little and add this right here. And this is the parents' room. Not too bad, not too bad. Not my favorite color scheme, but looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Alright, so let's go and let's do the toddler's room. So let's get into the color wheel and let's choose those colors. Okay, so let's choose the color for the toddler's room. Come on, give me something good. He gets a purple room. Okay, let's choose the color for the floors, poor guy. And purple floors. Okay. All right, let's spin this wheel. <laughs> calm and cool again. So we get purple of everything and calm and cool furniture. All right, so let's get in there. All right, so let's choose a purple color for him. Let's then go with this. Now let's choose this flooring. Wow. This is what he has for fun. That's nice, but it's so expensive. $180 for floors. Let's do it. Now let's choose his furniture. He gets calm, cool furniture. We'll give him this bed. And let's fill this up with some toys for the guy. Let's see. Let's get some curtains first. Let's get him a toy box. Some toys and let's get him a... Uh, let's get him this guy right here. Put him there. And we gotta get him a little rug. 
do this one. Little lamp. And let's give him a little seating area or a bookshelf. Let's put the bookshelf right here. So let's get this kid a little painting over here. See what he would like. Put that there. Shrink these down. And then let's put a little light over there for him. Let's put this light right here. Okay, so he has a bed. He has his bookshelf. We need seating for mom and dad. So let's look for a chair. Let's add this guy right here. Let's see if it comes in a different color. Yeah, this color is fine. Let me just add another one of these rugs. All right, so his room is done. Not too bad for a purple room. All right, so we're gonna be doing the bathroom next. So let's pick our colors for the bathroom. All right, guys, so we are picking our colors for the bathroom. So let's see what we get. Oh, please, something good, something good. Black for the walls, okay. And let's choose the flooring. Come on. Blue? Okay, so we got black walls, blue flooring, and let's see the style of room we are going to get. Here we go. Spin, 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 spin. Oh, this is our first hypnotic funky fresh. All right. Okay, so we got black walls, blue floors, and funky room. Let's get into it. All right, so this is our black selection. Let's see what we have here. We'll go with this and let's see the flooring let's choose blue floors come on that looks nice I think we're gonna go with this one and now we have to do funky colored bathroom funky doesn't have to be colored but funky bathroom So let's put this shower combo in here. Let's get a toilet in here. Let's put that toilet right there. Let's get a sink. So let's put this sink right here. We're gonna need a mirror. Let's see what we can add here. Yeah, let's put that there. Let's put this little thing right in the corner here. We need a rug, something bright and colorful, something funky. Put that one here. Now let's see how everything's looking. Looking dark. Get a brighter light. Let's put this light right here. And let's see what else can we get in this room to make it funky. How about this sign right against this wall? Yeah. So I decided to change the shower to the zebra print. So let's see what else can we add in here. We have all the necessities. Let's see if we can add a painting. Put this here. Let's see what else can we put up here. Let's put this one right here. Let's see how this looks. I feel like I need a plant or something, but I only have $6,400 left, and I still gotta do the arcade room and the kids' room. So we're gonna stop right here. And let's go to the twins' room, and let's spin the wheel to see what they get. Okay, so we're spinning for the color of their walls. Let's see what we get for them. Come on, little ladies, get a nice color. Gray for the walls, and let's see what we get for the floors. Come on, come on, come on. Gray walls, yellow floors, and let's see the type of room they're going to get.
calm and cool. Let's get into it. All right, so they get great walls. It's not that bad for girls. Do that. They get yellow flooring. So let's choose yellow. Ooh, this is what they get. You know what? I'm going to go with these floors. And they get calm and cool with their decorations. Let's give them these beds. Let's get them a dresser. I think I'm going to change their wallpaper to this color. That looks more calm to me. Let's get them a mirror. And how about a little drawing art activity station? Yeah, let's grab on this art station. Let's put that right there. And let's add some posters on the wall for them. Let's give them a little rug. Let's place this rug down for them. That looks cute. Let's give them some diaries. Put one there. And we'll put this one here. And let's add a little flower. Alright, so this is the girls' room. Little bare, but it has everything they need. Now let's move on to the arcade room. So let's get back to the color wheel and let's choose the color of the game room. Alright, so let's choose this color for the game room. Here we go. Something spunky, something spunky. We got blue. Now let's see what the color of our floors are. <laughs> pink floors. Blue walls, pink floors. Now let's see the type of room this is going to be. Here we go. Calm and cool. So we have blue walls, pink floors, calm and cool decorating. Let's get back into the game. So we're going to choose this blue for the walls. And we're going to sort the pink flooring. Oh, I forgot how bad pink flooring is. We're going to go with the plush carpeting. Now let's get the arcade items. Every game room needs this, so we're going to plop that there, and put it in here, and let's get them a foosball table. Let's do white. And now we need some decorations. Let's get some wall art. Let's put that there. Let's get them a counter so they can add the popcorn machine in. And add the popcorn machine here. Let's see, they need some seating. I think we could put a couch there. I think I'm going to go with this one. We're going to put that here. And now let's get some curtains for this room. Cover it up a little. Let's choose a different color. Alright, so we have their game room. Now we have to choose the colors for the hallways. Let's get back into the color wheel. 
Okay, guys, so we're picking the color for the walls for the hallways. Let's get something nice. Let's go. Okay, gray walls, and let's choose the flooring. Okay, gray and black. Now we gotta choose the type of room we're gonna decorate it with. Ready? Let's get it in. Calm and cool. Exactly what I needed. Let's get back into the game. Let's do this. Alright, so I'm gonna go with these gray walls. And then let's choose our black floors. I like the way this looks better. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna put this little wall shelf here. And then let's put a mirror, because we always need that when we're on our way out the door. Let's go with this mirror from Eco Lifestyle. Choose a rug. This one is fine, so we'll put that here. See how that looks. Maybe we could put a coat hanger here. Okay, we'll put this coat rack here. I never use this object, so let's put that here. Stays in the theme of cool and calm. Alright, so that's our hallway. I'll just put an extra light in here because there's not really much that you could do in this one. So we have 774 simoleons left. Let's see if we could add some more stuff in this kitchen. Because it is looking sad, sad, and lonely. Let's go to kitchen items. Let's place that right here. And let's see. Go over these spoons. Let's place that there. Let's see if we can afford a coffee maker. Ken. Joe Jockey. Let's get it. <laughs> okay, so we got some plants in here. I'm still looking for some wall art for this kitchen let's put this right here so it looks like i'm done with the challenge how do you guys think i did if anything i think i did pretty well i think i failed this room the game room it was supposed to be a calm cool decorating it looks kind of funky and you know i only had thirty-five thousand dollars, so it was a bit of a challenge to fill the rooms with clutter and stuff because i love cluttering the rooms but overall i think things look pretty well so guys tell me how you think i did in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and share the love in the comment section let me know how i did and i will see you guys in the next video take care guys bye bye